Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good morning, good afternoon, good evening Everybody, especially my students Well, today we are going to study about narrative text Okay, what we got here Here is the definition of the narrative text A narrative is a text that tells a story then the story can be realistic, fantasy, or mix of both. Next, number one, we are going to the, talk about the purpose. What is the purpose of the narrative? The purpose is to entertain or to amuse the reader or listener. Oke, okay, jadi tujuan atau purpose dari teks naratif ini adalah untuk menghibur. Kata menghibur ini bisa diterjemahkan dalam bahasa Inggris to entertain atau to amuse. Yes. Number two, generic structure. General. First, orientation. Orientation ini adalah pembuka ya biasanya pengenalan next complication ya kemudian resolution resolution itu adalah penyelesaian ya next reorientation reorientation itu bisa ada bisa tidak Reorientation ini adalah kesan atau kesimpulan dari penulis ya, atau ending dari cerita tersebut. Tuh. Oke, next selanjutnya yang ketiga. Yang ketiga ada language features. Ya, yang pertama simple past. Yang kedua adverbial phrase. Frase kata keterangan ya. Yang ketiga adjective Adjective adalah kata sifat Selanjutnya accent verb Kata kerja aksi And then specific noun to sign the character ya, Jadi kata benda spesifik untuk menandai Sifat dari tokoh tersebut Time conjunction ya. Kata penghubung Atau waktu penghubung Next, direct speech Direct speech itu adalah Kalimat langsung Atau ungkapan langsung ya. Biasanya Di dalam teks Naratif Itu ada dialog Nah, dialog itu kan diungkapkan langsung, tidak diberitakan atau tidak disampaikan oleh penulis. Ya. Next, number four. We got types of narrative. Jenis-jenis teks naratif. Number one. Fairy tales. Fairy tales itu adalah dongeng. Ya. Dongeng. Kemudian next selanjutnya folk tales. Folk tales itu adalah cerita rakyat. Nah. Next fable. Fable apa? Cerita binatang. And then number four legend. Legend is legenda. So here is the summary about narrative text. Go to the next page. <clears throat> well, I got a story or narrative text on a book. Yeah, title is Strong Wind. Artinya, angin kuat. Yeah. Okay, now look at the first paragraph. Once 
There was a great warrior named Strong Wind. He lived with his sister in a tent by the sea. Strong Wind was able to make himself blah blah blah. His sister could see him, but no one else could. He said he would marry the first woman who could see him as he came at the end of the day. Okay, you can look at this on page 183 until 185. Yeah, look at the exercise. What do you think? What is the answer of the space? What is it? Okay, the answer is invisible. Okay, next second paragraph. Many women come up to his tent to watch for him. When he, his sister saw him coming, she would ask, Do you see him? Isko would answer, Oh yes, I see him. The strong wind sister would ask, What is he pulling his sled with? And then the girls would answer, blah 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 or with a wooden pole what do you think where's the answer okay rope okay and then next as usual we are going to discuss about this paragraph paragraph one <clears throat> If you look at the paragraph one, paragraph one is a setting and character. Paragraph one, as I told you, uh, orientation, yeah, it is to introduce setting and character. Yeah, you can look at on the first paragraph. There was a great warrior named Strong. Itu menjelaskan bahwa di paragraf 1 ada siapa di situ and then he lived with his sister in a tent by the sea ya ini menunjukkan di mana mereka tinggal his sister could see him but no one else could ya ini menunjukkan kalau kakak perempuannya mempunyai karakter ya yeah. and then number four he would marry the first women who could see him ya yeah. ini juga masih karakter dari strong wind and then second paragraph second paragraph itu sudah mulai konflik to start the conflict ya yeah. oke okay. number one many women came up to his time to watch him lah di sini di sini mulai ada complication atau konflik and then number two strong wind sister would know that they were lying nah, kakak dari strong wind ini mengetahui kalau women yang datang itu lying what is lying berbohong Okay, next. Okay, paragraph three. The strong wind sister would know that they were lying because their guesses were wrong. Guesses tebakan, ya, tebakannya keliru. Paragraph four. A chief lived in a village. His wife had died, and he had three daughters. One was much younger than the other two. She was gentle, kind, and beautiful, but her sisters were blah, blah, blah. Okay, what do you think? What is the answer? Okay, the answer is jealous. Okay. Next, selanjutnya. Of her and 
treated her badly. They cut off her long black hair and they made her wear rags. They also burnt her face with coal so that she would be ugly. They lied to their father that she did these things to herself. But she remained calm and blah blah blah. What do you think? What is the answer? Okay, gentle. Yeah? Gentle itu artinya lembut. Okay, let's discuss the paragraph 3. Paragraph 3, it is only conjunction to continue the next sentence. Ya, jadi paragraf 3 adalah paragraf 3 adalah uh, paragraf penghubung ya makanya disebut conjunction sentence next paragraf 4 paragraf 4 plot atau action to show an action as part of plot ya plot itu apa alur yang pertama chief had three daughters ya The last daughter was gentle and beautiful. Ya, anak yang terakhir lembut dan cantik. The two elder daughters were really mean to their younger sister. Ya, kedua anak perempuan yang lainnya, ya, really mean, ya, sangat jahat to their younger sister pada adik mereka. Number four, the youngest daughter remained calm. Ya, jadi anak yang terakhir atau ragil itu tenang atau kalem saja. Next, paragraph five. The two older sisters also went to try and see strong wind. Was coming when he was coming. Strong wind sister asked them, "Do you see him?" Oh yes, I see him. It's of them answer. What is his bow made of? Out of? Asked strong wind sister. Out of iron. Answer one. Out of wood. Answer the other. You have not see him, said strong wind sister. Strong wind himself heard them and knew that they had lied. They went into the tent but still could not see him. They went home very sad. Ya, jadi ini masih uh, mengarah ke complication atau konflik ya di mana uh, kedua kakak perempuan yang jahat itu menuju ke tendanya strong wind mereka curious kepo ingin bertemu dan melihat strong wind tapi mereka berbohong oke okay. next selanjutnya oke okay, paragraph 5 plot of rising action to show rising action jadi alur di mana aksinya mulai bangkit atau naik untuk menunjukkan kebangkitannya maksudnya naiknya aksi menuju ke complication ya ditunjukkan pada satu the two older sister went to try to meet strong wind yang kedua they lied ya mereka berbohong next paragraph 6 One day, the youngest daughter went to try and see strong wind. She was wearing blah 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 and burn covered her face. People laughed at her, but she kept going. When she got to strong wind stance, she waited. Okay, what is the answer of number five? Okay, Rick. Next, selanjutnya. 
When strong wind was coming, his sister asked the girl, Do you see him? No, the girl answered, I don't see him. Strong winds was surprised because the girl had told the truth. Now, do you see him? asked the strong wind sister. Yes, answered the girl. Now I do see him. He is very wonderful. What is his blah 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 made of? asked strong wind's sister. The rainbow answered the girl. And what is the brow string made of? asked the strong wind sister. Of stars answered the girl. Yeah. Kita bahas jawabannya dulu. What is his blah 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 made of? The answer is Okay, bow. Yeah. Panahan. Yeah. Okay. Pay next paragraph, sorry. When strong wind sister knew that the girl could really see him, he had let her see him because she had told the truth. You really see you really have seen him? said the strong wind sister. Then the sister was the goal. And all the birds went away. Her hair grew blah blah blah. What is the answer? Okay. Yeah, long. Yeah. Her hair grew long and black again. Yeah. The sister dressed the girl in blah 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 clothes. Yeah, the girl in fine clothes. Strong wind came and the girl became his wife. So the climax. Jadi dari paragraf 6 sampai paragraf 9, empat paragraf ini itu menunjukkan puncak dari alur cerita. Klimaks itu puncak. Ya. Clue-nya atau petunjuknya adalah The young sister also want to try to meet strong wind. She did not tell a lie. Strong wind let her see him. And then number four, she regained her beauty. And the last one, they both married. The last paragraph, paragraph 10. The girl's two older sister were very angry, but strong wind turned them into aspen tree. Ever since that day, the leaves of the aspen tree always blah blah blah. What do you think? What is the answer? Okay, tremble. Yeah, bergetar. Yeah, the tree always tremble with fear wherever he comes near because they know he remembers their blah 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 lying and minis yeah okay paragraph 10 plot of fell falling action alur dimana aksinya menurun to tell the falling action menyampaikan aksi turun jadi sudah masuk ke resolution ya the other sister got angry strong wind turned them into aspen trees okay that was the last paragraph paragraph 10 i hope you could understand what i explained today about narrative text thank you very much Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.